The Forensic Services Laboratory was designated by the General Assembly to be a comprehensive full service laboratory for the state of South Carolina. SLED is an assisting agency and we assist local, state, and law enforcement partners and coroners um, with their investigations. We have all the traditional disciplines such as toxicology, drug chemistry, DNA casework, DNA database, firearms, latent prints, computer crimes or digital evidence, and we still even are able to maintain a full complement of trace evidence analysis as well as question documents. My laboratory staff, we're really tasked with providing a full service forensic capabilities for the citizens of South Carolina, especially supporting the criminal justice system. The toxicology department specifically provides toxicological analysis for criminal sexual conduct cases, DUI cases, driving under the influence cases, and post-mortem investigations. As a toxicologist, the types of casework that we perform have implications in the real world. We are removing people from the roadways who may be driving under the influence. We are removing predators who may be responsible for sexual assault. And we're also um, identifying drugs or drug trends that are causing overdose deaths in the community. And by doing this, we are improving public health. There are four DNA processing rooms available in the DNA casework department. These rooms are set up and include all of these supplies and equipment necessary to process items as small as such as a pair of eyeglasses, all the way to items as large as an area rug or a car bumper. Specifically in the DNA casework laboratory spaces, robotics play an integral role in the analysis process, specifically at the extraction phase. These robotics allow for a large number of samples to be processed simultaneously and that allows the operator to perform other tasks in the laboratory space. For DNA database, they have punch instruments that can be used to process samples on a pretty consistent basis without much physical interaction by the operator. And rapid instruments are an optimized process in performing work on reference samples. The National Integrated Ballistics Information Network is a database that we enter firearms evidence into. The SLED Entry by Appointment Program is where we allow agencies throughout the state of South Carolina to get their firearms evidence into that database faster. With our Entry by Appointment Program, our agencies can bring in their evidence without it leaving their custody, get it triaged and entered to the system. When we met with architects, we really designed our firearms department around this entry by appointment program. We wanted to be on the first floor, close to the evidence control department, so that way our customers never lose custody of their evidence. We have floor to ceiling windows in some cases where they can watch us shoot their evidence and they can quickly seal it back up and return to their agencies. The SLED lab had humble beginnings like most labs. Over the next 43 years, the laboratory did grow and expand. And in 1990, uh, the lab received its first full service laboratory building. And then we found we could no longer expand our services and capabilities. So we had the good fortune to obtain a new laboratory. By moving to the new laboratory, we have increased efficiencies and we have decreased the turnaround time and decreased our backlog. Some of these efficiencies include having a much larger instrumentation room so that we can keep it cooler, we can make it more quiet. We also have um, additional extraction hoods. So now we can uh, extract uh, with more than one person extracting at any given time. Um, and we have a refrigerator in our department, which uh, makes it so that we don't have to continuously walk outside of the department to retrieve and put back our evidence. One of the benefits of having a bigger laboratory and having an auditorium is that we're able to actually connect with our other laboratories across the state. So we're able to kind of get into a meeting, learn about our challenges, their challenges, the trends that we're seeing here in South Carolina. So that's always been fantastic to be able to network with them not only did we receive funding for the new laboratory, but we've also continued to receive support from the General Assembly in the form of new staffing positions. Over the last two years, we've received about 30 additional staffing opportunities. To me, SLED is like family. I have been here for about six years now, 
and I moved from Maryland. So it was a really big jump, but I had a dream. Forensic science has always been what interested me since I was a kid. So when I had the opportunity to come down to South Carolina and interview for this position, I knew it was the fit for me. Obviously this new laboratory is attracting new hires and our ability to gain interest from those forensic scientists throughout the United States looking to start a career. We provide a lot of resources through training, education, mentoring, and we would love to have you consider us as a potential future employer where you can grow and, and really hone your skills as a forensic scientist.